Wow. Hi, guys. <laughs> so a bit of a flaw here. For those of you who know me, uh, Adrian Salisbury, you know that I do. Uh, I'm all about Ecamm. I love Ecamm for my live streaming. And um, yes, Robert, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought I was trying to, I'm trying to be clever and going out to YouTube and Facebook at the same time and um, not a problem for the visual side. I can use Ecamm and bring my slides and things into this, but literally I'm just about to go live and I thought, ah, the music isn't going to work because it doesn't send audio across without playing around with it. So I, I hesitated, but I thought, I've told you we were going to be on at 5 p.m. and I've started it five minutes early. So forgive me. I hope I didn't lose anybody. Uh, normally, I'm sitting listening to a lovely little tune going here while that five minute countdown's going four minute. Um, but yeah, great to have you here all the same. Uh, thanks so much. So guys, where are you from? We've got some some of you on YouTube. Some of you are on Facebook. In fact, actually, by the looks of this, um, more of you by the looks of it. Ricardo is um, over on YouTube. Um, so is Mr. Alexander. Christine is on YouTube. Robert, you're the only one commenting from Facebook. Come on, Facebook. Um, guys, great to have you on here. So uh, we've seen the title of it, and uh, it's why I'm sitting slightly off to the side here, uh, why you should be building a YouTube channel right now. Uh, I'm extremely passionate about YouTube, and uh, yeah, why should you be on it? Uh, is it relevant to you? Uh, you know, is this just for vloggers and people? Can this help you in your business? Uh, here you all come. Uh, everyone's coming on now. Kathy's on, Christine's on, Anton's on. Um, wonderful. Uh, Mr. Alexander's Chester, Toronto, Northern Ireland, Miami. Oh, I know which of those I'd rather be at. Um, <laughs> Uh, wonderful. Guys, great to have you here. Fresh out of Ecamm, Ecamm, Gary. Yes. So, Gary, if you're thinking what's going on, he's been telling us all about Ecamm and now he's over here on uh, StreamYard. It's because the one thing with Ecamm, I mean, I am using Ecamm now, but Ecamm through Restream won't let me schedule in advance. I can't put it out there and plan it uh, days ahead like I can. So I'm trying to use... Um, Oh, that hasn't come off. Sorry, I'm used to Ecamm that takes the comments off after so many seconds. Uh, let's get rid of your comment, Robert. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. It, a bit of a play, a bit of a trial over here. You're my guinea pigs, but um, hey, it's all good, right? Uh, so, yes, let's talk about YouTube, shall we? How many of you here? Give me your hands up. Give me a, a why or a yes or something. If you've already got a YouTube channel, Um and um, give, yeah, I want to know, yes, you've got a channel and it's working or yes, you've got a channel, but it's not really working or something like that. Give me some clues. Let me know uh, the audience and who's here. Uh, Jimmy's in. Hey, Jimmy. Um, John's here. Paul's in. Yep. Yes. Not active, says Christine. OK, Jim's is yes. Um, okay, good. Yes, but no videos on it, Anton. Uh, interesting. Jimmy, yes. Robert, yes. Good stuff. So a lot of you have already got a YouTube channel. And uh, so, but is it working for you? Are you kind of sitting back? Why do I get passionate about YouTube? Let me tell you that. Uh, and I only discovered this last year, last summer, probably 12 months ago. Uh, more yes is coming in. Come on. Um, last summer, I kind of came across this and thought uh, more and more people in my pro video academy uh, were saying to me, yeah, well, I, I, I first found you on when you were doing that YouTube video and it might have been something totally off topic. It wasn't me coming on doing a sales video on YouTube. It was something that I was helping people with and it just, something just clicked and I thought, more and more people, the majority, over 70% of all of my customers first discovered me on YouTube. Um, and I realized that uh, there's something in this. And, and at that point, I'm already teaching people how to make videos, how to do stuff like this. And I just went, guys, we need to get you on YouTube. I need to create a course to help you uh, get on YouTube. So that is why I'm passionate about it. Uh, why do I think you should be on it? Um, 
I honestly believe that it is the it has the potential to be your best marketing tool. Um, whatever you're doing now, money that you're spending on Facebook ads, uh, you know, maybe you've got a great Instagram channel. Um, you know, all different things that you might be doing for your marketing efforts, uh, email blasts, blog posts, all of that stuff. I honestly believe that YouTube can be your best marketing tool. It is for me. And there are so many reasons uh, why it works, why it stands out above everything else. Um, and, you know, why right now? Because, well, more than ever, people are getting used to getting online and researching. There's more and more people who have been at home during this lockdown season. I know a lot are coming out of it. And um, let's pray that continues. But, um, you know, people are stuck. People are spending more time. They've, they've maybe got more time still. And uh, what a great time for you to really get into this. And really, uh, wouldn't it be great to come out of this lockdown at some point? And, uh, you know, when you look back on this, to be able to go, I used that time to build a YouTube channel out. And it's been the best thing I ever did. Uh, so we can do all this stuff. Uh, I honestly think that this could be the best marketing that you could do in your business. And um, uh, sorry, just seeing your comments. I do get uh, YouTube frightens you, Kitty. All right. Uh, well, we'll get into that. Um, how is it best to get more viewers and subscribers, Ted? Straight to the point. Well, let me let's get into this then. So I want to help you and encourage you with YouTube. Now, I am going to be talking to you in a few minutes time about my YouTube Academy. That's a training that I do. It's starting on Monday. Uh, it's been proven and it really works well. It's a great way for you to get up and running with this. But let's talk about it in here anyway. Let's just dig into this whole, you know, why is it working for me and what do I think really is the secret? I want you to come away from this with some uh, real nuggets that you can take away and use, whether you come and use me in the Academy or not. Uh, the big thing here, is um, I mean, let me let me backtrack a second. So I'm saying to you here that 70% of my customers first found me on YouTube. I want you to get this because it's really important. This is you know one step within a chain. Fair enough. Uh, there are Facebook ads that go out. There are emails that go out and things like this. But that first contact point was here on YouTube. It wasn't a Facebook ad that I had to pay for. That. Let's think about it. Facebook ads interrupt people, don't they? Maybe we're sitting, if you're anything like my wife, first thing in the morning, scrolling through that feed. Last thing at night, scrolling through that feed. There's an advert that pops up. Hopefully, you're catching your audience's attention, but you might be irritating them a bit at the same time. Uh, Instagram, same thing with Instagram stories and places. All of a sudden, we can put an advert in there or maybe just in your social channel anyway. People are picking up and you can post adverts in. Um, YouTube is unique because unlike uh, any of these campaigns and things that you're doing, uh, you can get in front of your audience totally free on YouTube. You're not paying to get in front of them. Uh, you're actually getting in front of them when they're in a different mode as well. If, you know, if, if I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see your ad, I'm not in, I'm not in position to be making a decision. I'm not trying to uh, solve a problem or anything like that. I'm just scrolling through, seeing what's going on in the world. Uh, so it's uh, that ad is hitting people when they're in a different position and a different state, really. What I'm trying to do and what I love about this, this is I'm actually getting in front of people first, not with an advert, not disrupting them, not potentially annoying them. I'm getting in front of them and solving a problem. Because when you think about it, someone goes to YouTube, you go to YouTube, or more likely you go to Google because you've got a problem. You're trying to find an answer. You're maybe wanting to get a review on something because you're thinking about buying a product. Uh, before you buy it, you just want to hear a few reviews and make sure that you're making the right decision. Um, we go to Google. We type it in. We end up on YouTube. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But actually, then someone comes up, really like their video completely solves that problem you've just won somebody over and whether they whether they even know that you've got anything to sell at that point it doesn't matter they've mentally decided hey this is someone that helped me out really like them maybe they subscribe maybe they don't 
but you've just started that. That's your first contact. And the amount of people that have said to me, yeah, the first place I discovered you was, was there on that YouTube video. So can you see how, I mean, to me, this is the purest form of content marketing. It is it is not a sales message. It is purely me getting in front of somebody and serving them. And uh, we just recently had somebody post this in about this uh, camera that I was reviewing, or it wasn't even reviewing. I, I was using this camera. I got stuck because somehow I'd pressed a button and I'd locked the back screen up and I couldn't get it working. And uh, when I worked out what it was, I made a video about it and put it on YouTube. And uh, this was probably three years ago. And even just this week, somebody's commented on that YouTube video and gone, oh, you've saved my life. It was driving me mad trying to work this out. I finally kind of searched on Google. Here's the answer. Thank you so much for your video. Now, they might not actually be my ideal customer, but they know me to be someone that's out here giving and serving. Uh, that's how we get in front of our audience. And this is how YouTube can be your biggest, most powerful marketing tool. So um, no problem about being late. Um, uh, Mr. Musical Four is wanting us to have a search of his channel. So where was the question? How do you get more viewers and subscribers? So Ted, it isn't about trying to manipulate people or trick people or get them to sign up. And it isn't even about badgering them or with fancy icons to tell them to subscribe and things like that. Uh, the trick really is creating the videos that they want. So who is your audience and what are they searching for right now? Um, <laughs> so I'm starting to flick down here. Um, be the expert, says Dewey. Absolutely to the problems. Uh, love that. Um Go to Google to see what I need to go to on YouTube. Yeah, and Jimmy, do you appreciate that when you go to Google, and this, I said I'd come back to this and have a look at this, but what we do is we go to, typically we go to Google to type in our question, and what do we get? That, that front page of Google typically has like three adverts sitting at the top of it. Have you realized that, that those top three ones are being paid to put there? And uh, that's down to that marketer's budget as to who gets ranked to be at the top there. Then if there are videos on the topic, the next thing that comes under those ads above any blog posts or anything else are three videos. And as soon as you click on one of those three videos, you are taken straight over to YouTube and you are no longer on Google, you're in YouTube. And whether that video solved your problem or whether in that suggested column at the side, that solves your problem. Can you see how now, so somebody might not necessarily go to YouTube to get their answer, but they go to Google and very quickly they end up on YouTube without realizing it. And uh, now they're kind of at the mercy of YouTube search engine and uh, same company. But um, yeah, so don't be thinking, oh, but everyone goes to Google, they don't go to YouTube doesn't matter because they end up on YouTube because Google knows that we would rather watch a video to get our answer than sit and read a lengthy blog post, typically. Um, now, let me give you an example. And I was just on a call before uh, coming here with uh, a good friend of mine, and he's got a YouTube channel. And we were just talking about this, about the types of videos. Let me just make sure that this is going to go to the right place. Um, Two seconds. Uh, there we go. Let's go to that one. And um, again, these are, this is the problem of me messing about with this and trying to. All right, I'll come over here. I'm fighting with Ecam now. Um, Pastor Bill. So uh, Bill's a good friend of mine. Bill came through the YouTube Academy. He's also been through the Ecam Academy. Um, and has become a really good friend. So Bill, I was just talking to, and I said, Bill, do you mind me using your video here as an example? And uh, he's given me his blessing. He, sorry, not his video, his channel. Now, Bill is um, putting videos up on here that are a daily Bible reading or daily devotion for someone that wants to follow along and, and do a Bible reading. Um, but look, Bill's not getting views on here. One view, no view, two views. Um, 
So what is going wrong here? So Bill's been saying, right, I, you know, I'm looking, I need to optimize these videos. Um, can you give me some help trying to optimize it so that I get the right words and things in? And I just had to say to Bill, it's not that, it's just that they're the wrong type of videos for YouTube. Now let's have a look at this. For So let's go through this example first of all. Um, and then I'll come back to some of yours and we'll see how this applies to your businesses. But um, so title on here, um, always looking for you in Luke chapter 15, the cost of discipleship, Luke 14. Now, these are good, actually, and they're good titles. But what I'm suggesting to Bill is. So Bill's trying to, you know, this is one side of it. I know Bill has a product that is, uh, you know, helping people with the daily Bible reading and prayer and, uh, you know, just getting a walk with God. Uh, and I'm saying to Bill, that's not what someone is looking for. You're not getting in front of them with these videos. I'm not going to find this video because I've typed into YouTube anything, um, you know, always looking for you. There's nothing around that that I would type into YouTube that Google would say, oh, this is a good match. Let's put this up in front of them. So what I'm suggesting to Bill is that, um, He's actually going to package these up and put them into like a membership area that if I wanted to, I could work through these and I could choose a day, you know, use it like a daily Bible reading plan if I want to. But I'm saying to Bill, the videos that you need to be making are things like this one, where to begin reading the Bible or actually more than that. You know, maybe it is even a stage right before that. So Bill's thinking is that um, the answer to someone's uh, problem is, you know, getting this kind of regular walk with God, this Bible reading, this this plan, this being in a group and and having some accountability and coming on alive with these guys in this group. Um, what I'm saying is someone that you know that would help what are they typing into Google for right now? And maybe it's more to do with um, why doesn't God listen to me or why do I feel like God's not there sometimes? And so I'm saying, why don't you lead with things like that, that you could do a short video on kind of going, well, uh, and, and forgive me uh, if, if you don't have a faith, um, bear with me. <laughs> this is kind of me coming from this. I do. So I get this. Um, uh, you know, Bill might well come back to that and go, you know, God's always been there. It's maybe because you're not kind of having a daily walk with God and think, you know, so actually the answer, the solution might be this course that he's got. Um, but he needs to get in front of people and help them out, answer that initial need, that problem. So for me, it would be more like somebody saying, oh, which microphone should I use to be making course videos or I want to be able to do YouTube videos which is the best lighting that I should use that's just to me that's just one element of it you can change your lights but maybe the camera or the microphone or the way you're filming it or the background you've got or the angle you're shooting at there's all these other elements to it but I know that they someone might not go how do I make really good videos they might just go yeah I think my videos were all right how do I get better lights or what what light should I have so I can help them with that. I get in front of them with that. I give them an answer to that one. And um, they will go, great, really like that video. And his videos are really good. Oh, that's what he teaches. And then all of a sudden that leads through, let's see what else he's got. Um, that's what I'm suggesting that Bill does here. Um, does this, can you apply this to you guys? What, what kind of businesses do you have here that, um, again, we can pull up in here? Because to me, this is, yes, I want to help you in my academy with how to build out your channel, how to do thumbnails that get seen and all of this. But it, the core of it really is about you making the right videos. It isn't about, you know, how do I get more views? You will get more views if you're making videos that people want. Yeah. So, yes, we do all those extra bits. We put tags, we put keywords in descriptions. I'll explain all of that within that academy. But right now, you need to start looking at your videos and going, 
are my videos ones that Google would say is the answer? And, and I want to put this in front of someone who types in this question. The closer you can get to a question, the better. And what I would suggest is, um, sorry, I'm half looking at these. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm going to come back to some of these comments in a minute. I really, I recommend to you, check your video. If you've already got a YouTube channel, most of you here said you've already got a channel. Uh, go and do an audit and tell me how many of your videos are a how-to video or a review video. Because by far, my most popular videos are, well, my most popular videos are review videos. And second to that, it would be how-to videos. So, uh, uh, and a lot of experts will tell you not to do those types of videos. They'll tell you that, um, you know, don't give everything away. I disagree with that. But uh, what is it you do? So um, give me some of the businesses that are here. Um, I'm trying to think. Think uh, Brian's a lawyer. Brian, um, maybe for instance that uh, if Brian's uh, Brian, I can't quite remember actually how you're helping people. Um, <laughs> just there you go. I've got to put Roberts up. Come on, look at this. Um, telling me that everyone should be signing up to my courses. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Um, come on, give me some. Um, what do I say for teaching vocal breath, says Dansby. Um, all right. So that is a solution there. OK, so why would I be um, why would I be bothered about vocal breath? Am I going to come on here and search for uh, how to how to improve my vocal breathing? What would be the problem or the cause that that I would be? Maybe I would be saying um um something about why am i out of breath when i'm singing or why do i lose my voice i mean you tell me i don't know uh, but but what is the question that someone's going to ask that your solo solution is you need to learn vocal breathing is that even a thing uh however you say that yeah so that's what i'm saying dansby and then also you know why is that vocal breathing important are we talking about singers here if so is there a wider thing that you offer uh is it about microphones and ways to record yourself home studio things like that that actually you could be leading with um a vocal booth maybe you review one of these little um portable booth things that you put around and say is it any good or not and then as part of it you're saying um, yeah, you know, this is great and all this. But obviously, the most important thing is that you get your your breathing sorted. And actually, I can help you with that. You know, click here and download this little, I don't know, is it like an exercise thing that you can run through, do this for a week and see how you get on type thing? Um, does that make sense? Um Let's have a look. Christine says, and forgive me if I've just missed you. Uh, I, I, let me come back up. We've got a bit of time. I'm happy to just, I want to get you thinking about this. And uh, yeah, to me, this is so important. So Christine says, teaching how to use sewing machines to be more creative. So um, again, what specifically, Christine, what would I be typing in that you're going to tell me um, I need help with. So would I already be using a sewing machine? Am I, is it a particular thing? Is it like a, a quilted thing? Is it um, gifts that I could be making for a baby? Um, is it patterns and stuff? Bear with me, sewing's not a big topic of mine. Uh, so again, what would somebody go to Google to and go, ah, oh, really, I'd love to make something for my, I don't know, niece or friend's baby. Um, maybe maybe it's a sewing machine even. Maybe it's a review of a sewing machine, which is the best sewing machine for a beginner. Or maybe you pick two brands of sewing machines. Uh, we do it all the time with cameras and things, you know, this versus this. Put two sewing machines up there and then help them with that, help them make that decision. And then when they've bought that sewing machine, guess what? They're a perfect customer because they've just brought a brand new sewing machine and they don't know what to do with it. So you help them with that and then you, yeah. Does that make sense? 
Um, let me scroll back up a bit. Um, I'm not going to get all these, am I? Um, music performance, topical program. Uh, sorry, musical performance and topical program. So it's similar then, Laura. So why would Laura's asking about um, musical performance? So Laura, again, um, is is it about is that a flute you've got there? You know, is it about learning to play flute? Is it about trying to play flute professionally? How do you, um, you know, again, what am I asking? What is your customer asking that you can help them with? And answer that one and and then it becomes much easier to a warm audience someone that's going oh amazing you know i love how laura just, her channel's brilliant she's got all these videos helping me she showed me which flute i need to get is there a tip or a technique or is some extra things that you can do um yeah all of that stuff that then leads on to and if possible you can have a download or you can send someone to watch a more detailed version of what you've just done on youtube at which point they get into your email list and without spamming or you know annoying people because you'll just get unsubscribe or people will just unsubscribe to you can you follow on and go hey you downloaded that flute tutorial how are you getting on with it did you i've got another one here or i've got a next level one here if you're interested so it's very targeted and very relevant. Um, personal branding, Kitty. So, yeah, big one there. Kitty's helping with personal branding. So maybe it isn't someone who is coming wanting uh, a um, consultant or someone to do it for you. Maybe they're just uh, – maybe they're doing – let's think of specifics of the personal branding. Maybe it's about getting a logo done. Uh, maybe it's about colors in your branding. Can you answer some of those questions that you hear people asking? Maybe it's comparing, um, should I use Fiverr to get a logo done? Something like that, that you talk about. And then you're just mentioning within it, hey, my customers who come to me for personal branding. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it works really well. Um, Designer eyewear, fantastic. Um, so how are you going to use this, Anton? Reviews, massively for reviews. Um, yeah, and again, it's not even just, I mean, the reviews would be a huge part of it. They would get a lot of views, but are there tips and tricks? Um, how to, you know, is, is a anti-glare film worth paying for or this you know can you do a review where one glass has it and one doesn't or things like this or do, do you need a scratch thing on it or, or i don't know all kinds of stuff like that uh you i'm hoping this is making sense um a magician i'm getting way behind in the chat aren't i um so a magician now we ted I've got a magician in my Pro Video Academy that came through and is in my um, Kajabi Academy now and, and has an online course that he made. And he's just recently put together a trick that he does, which is a hoop and glass trick. And uh, so he's done this and he's selling it. So he's, he, it's a complete start to finish how to do this trick. Um, he's selling that well at the minute. So he's leading with some videos out here on YouTube on how to do these things. So um, you want to show the live events, which is great. Um, but what about those people who are watching going, I'd love to be able to do that. You know, so either you can pick off an audience of, of, of basic and simple uh, getting started in magic, or you go after those more serious magicians who want to be able to get gigs at weddings and events and things. Um yeah, okay. Uh, your product or service is the answer to what question? Yes, uh, love it, Art. Spot on. Um, best practice to define a title. Uh, there's lots. You can actually use, and part of the YouTube Academy in the, it, I'll tell you about, in a few minutes, I'll tell you about the YouTube Academy and what we offer. It's basically a two-week boot camp 
that you can come and join us in. And in the second week, we've got um, Andrew Can from TubeBuddy coming in and doing an exclusive live to us to show us how to use their tool, TubeBuddy, to uh, really go deep on getting those keywords right. Uh, so getting... Again, if you before you even get into that, um, Rakesh, you could be looking. So if you type in a phrase for something, so like we've just been here about, um, you know, how to do a, a magic trick, how, how to do a hoop and glass trick, for instance, um, is this magic one. Well, if you search that and then you start looking down, who got ranked and, and how close did they get to you? And, and you start to see there are some great ideas with things like, putting numbers in, uh, you know, how to do this in three steps or five ways to do that. So numbers are a good way to do it, but getting your key phrase in the main word. So that hoop and glass trick would be it, but, but writing in it in a pretty authentic way, um, learn the hoop and grass trick in one week or five hours or whatever it be like that. Yeah. Um, and you can play with it and you can use a tool like TubeBuddy to put that in and it will give you a score and tell you how good it is or not. And it will help you and suggest ways that you can improve it. Um, so TubeBuddy is a really good tool. You can start, I think, a free plan on that. Um, but we've got some deals on that coming up. Um, let's have a quick nose. Gary's doing ticketed virtual music performance. Um, that's a harder one, isn't it? Um, so actually getting people from YouTube to then come over to that, uh, I guess it becomes more a case of it being a showcase uh, for you, but it's not going to be something that people will type in naturally, is it? Um, because I wouldn't go to Google to watch a performance so it's not ever a question that i'm going to type in um maybe you use phrases like you know online jazz piano session or something like you know if if yeah that's a harder one than trying to sell a product or a course if i'm honest um yes oh well carol spot on how to make a mask with a sewing machine would be amazing that would be viral right now wouldn't it and you could play around on that theme with, uh, you know, different ways of doing it. Um, how to make a children's mask. Uh, five plans available or, you know, with uh, different things you can do. Yeah, I love it. Um, let me come back a bit further. An entertainer again, Mr. Alexander. You have a lot of entertainers on here. Um, so similar things for you, but again, you know, what are you trying to, yes, using YouTube as a platform to showcase what you're, um, you know, to actually host like I'm doing now, you could do a live on here. I'm looking more at a business really that is going, how can I get more business to buy my product, join my course? Um, that's where I think, you know, come, even like a local hairdressers or somebody, how can you use YouTube to drive people in and get them to come and buy from you? Um, I think that's really important. And um, I just think, you, yeah, it, it's what are the questions that people are asking? Um, now, I'm going to come back to some of these. Let me very quickly, uh, I know some of you have already been on for uh, over 30 minutes. Let me very quickly just show you. and. Um, how am I going to do this in just a second? Let me, it's actually showing it as a, so let me show this in here. This is my, um, oh, it's not going to work, is it? I, I, I don't think I'm going to do this again. Um, <laughs> this is me trying to do this in um, StreamYard and Ecamm. And it's not, I'm used to in Ecamm being able to do this. So my YouTube Academy, let me jump back over here and uh, then we'll come back and answer a few more of these questions. Uh, ultimately, this, um, where are we? Demo over here. Gone again, YouTube Academy. That's because I moved it over there. <laughs> 
Right. Um, uh, the guys that are here from my Ecamm Academy are going, what's going wrong? He's normally so slick at all this. Um, I'm learning a lesson not to mix up these. So YouTube Academy starts on August the 3rd, which is next Monday, and it is just $99. What do you get for that? This is what I've just been saying here. You know, 75% of my customers come to me, I solve a problem and uh, win them over very much. It happens all the time. And uh, not in any kind of salesy uh, way that makes me not sleep at night, but in a very genuine way that people come to me going, I loved your videos. I, uh, what else can I get from you? Um, that's how I want it to be. So as I'm saying here, that's the power of YouTube. It is your best shop window that is up 24 seven. Um, Look at this, uh, 2 billion monthly users uh, watching over 5 billion videos every day. People are in there in YouTube and uh, they're typing in questions and other people are solving their problems and you could be in there doing that instead. So over six days really is what we're doing. It's actually over two weeks. Um, you're going to discover what videos your audience are searching for. You're going to come up with at least six months of video titles. You're going to build out your own channel or improve it if you've already got one and uh, upload a video or two while you're with us in this session. Uh, so there's some testimonials over on this page. This program here shows you really what we're going to be doing. So Day one is all about preparing your YouTube channel. It's really what we've been talking about here with just really going, what videos do you need to be making? You know, Never mind putting a daily video up if no one's going to see it. What videos do you need to be making? What are the pains of your audience? I've got a, a, a worksheet here that you're going to download and work through. Uh, what do you teach? What are your typical, uh, who are your typical customers? What pains do they struggle with? What questions are they asking on YouTube? Where can you help them? And then that will then give you this list of videos. And if you're planning on doing one video a week, you can very easily come up with at least six months of awesome video content uh, just by working through this process. Then on day two, you're going to build out that channel then, as I say. Um, and the reason I really emphasize that channel is I think that again is just over 70% statistically of people that watch your video, won't subscribe there and then, they will click and go to your channel page first of all, check you out, decide whether it looks like you've got other videos and it's worth subscribing, and then they subscribe. So it is really important to get that channel, your, your YouTube homepage in effect, sorted and looking great. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then what we're going to be doing is every day I show up. So I'm, I'm dripping out some videos to you every day that uh, you will be able to take away, work through. So depending on what time of day, wherever you live in the world, you'll be able to jump in and work through those videos. Then every day I show up on a live at this time. So 5 p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we really go through that. So when you're putting your channel in here and you're building it out, you're gonna be posting it into the Facebook group that we have exclusively for the group going through. And uh, we're gonna be saying to you, right, post your channel in, let's have a look at it. And I get on the live in the day and say, right, let's bring up your channel here. Let's have a look at Ted's channel or Ben's or Brian's channel. What will we change? You know, and and it's, it's so powerful. Others get involved, everyone's chipping in on the live going, oh, he hasn't actually mentioned his name, or I think that thumbnail would look better like this. Um, really, really helpful. Scripting out your first two videos. Your first video is going to be your channel trailer, your introduction. So when someone first time comes to your YouTube channel, there's a video that will play only when it's their first time visiting. And uh, when they return, it's hidden. So that's your first video, and then we're gonna make a second video while you're here. So you're gonna learn how to script that video out. We take a day on that. I don't want anybody rushing into making the video. I want you to script it out first of all. Then on your fourth day, you record that video. On your fifth day, or videos, on that fifth day, you're going to upload them and see how to, you've been mentioning about uh, thumbnails, keywords, titles, descriptions, all of that we're gonna look at there 
and tell you some real keys on how to get more traffic instantly uh, on those views. Then on day six, which actually comes in the middle of the second week, planning for your ongoing success. There's a lot of things in YouTube that you can't do until you've got, say, a thousand subscribers. And so we'll look at that then. But you've got that first week of videos being dripped out to you, uh, going through it. Those videos, and it tells you all this on this page, those videos are yours for life. Um, so come down here. Uh, Rach, if you, if you haven't already, could you pop the link into this page? Um, you get those videos. All that training that I'm offering is yours for life. This Facebook group that you join will be there for four months. So although we're going to do it, we work like a two-week boot camp. And it's pretty intense for two weeks. But then you've got four months with this Facebook group open to come back and go, hey, would you mind having a look at this again now? Or what do you think to this? Or why am I not getting views on that? Um, so uh, there's a whole page of feedback and uh, comments on here that people have said about the training. The other thing that I just skipped then, this is this bonus, this advanced analytics using TubeBuddy. And uh, Andrew Kahn, who is the face of TubeBuddy, is going to be coming on. We had an awesome time with him last time around. I basically kind of handed the mic and went, right, I'll handle the questions. And people were going, oh, can you put? Can you give us this search phrase? Would this work? And he was putting it through TubeBuddy and show you how to do what you can do on the free version. And he was just going, yeah, but look, that gives you this score. And if you change that around, it gives you this score. And um, really, really powerful. People said that session there was worth the $99 on its own. Um, so that's my YouTube Academy, adriansoulsbury.com, YouTube Academy. I'm sure the link is in here now for you. Yeah, Rach has just posted it in. Thank you, Rach. Um, so I can't recommend that enough. But firstly, you need to be on YouTube. <laughs> you, you need to be making videos on here. You are seriously missing out that huge amount of people that are there on YouTube every day. We all instantly go to Google and YouTube for answers to our uh, questions. It's the best place you can be. It's great to post on to Instagram or to Facebook, but they don't come up in searches. And very rarely will people go back uh, more than the last few videos that you posted on Facebook. It's gone. Your YouTube videos will just keep growing and growing. And as if it's evergreen content, people will come back in five years' time and it will still be relevant and powerful to them. Um, so um, Jason's done it and paid up. Come on, Jason. Um, wonderful. Um, Cloud Bedrocks just signed up. Lovely. Um, uh, Carol says, if you've taken your academy before, do we buy it again? Carol, if you've... The content is going to be the same. Um, re send me a, a message or actually, Carol, if you have a look back in your previous YouTube group, we put a link in there uh, and this will apply to any of you guys now is that once you've done the Academy once, if you want to come back as an alumni just to have a refresher, the videos are exactly the same or they, they will get updated, but you get the updated videos anyway. So you're not getting new videos but it gives you the chance to come back in again and go, right, okay, last time around, I kind of got it, but this time around, I really want to get focused and come out of this made, with some videos made. So you can come back in and it's $50 to you to come back through as an alumni. And you can come back as many times as you like. So uh, just check back into your previous YouTube group because I have posted in them. If you can't find it, Carol, then send me a personal message and I'll send you that link to the um, alumni. Um, Christine, sorry, what was the first part of that question, Christine? Um, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to, I just saw Christine's comment there saying, even if we have no followers. Um, so I'm not sure what you're asking there. Uh, what's it, and this is where actually, Christine, a lot of people come into the academy like this and they say, I've got a YouTube channel and it's just not working. Uh, that's actually a great place to be. And we can start there and we can make sure that it's built right, actually even from the whether it's a personal or a business one, uh, and get you sorted right from the start. We've had questions before about, you know, actually sometimes you're putting too varied content. 
we've had people who maybe want to do well yeah one customer who's teaching pilates and she also wants to do some travel vlogging really while she's out and about it's totally unrelated both great topics and ideas but i said don't put them on the same channel because one of the things youtube is looking at when it's working out who's going to get put and it's all about getting placed isn't it it's optimized so that when someone types a question in we want our video to come up and um if you just go if if the bulk of your audience are there because of the physio stuff that you're talking to them about and then you suddenly post about this trip to costa rica um they're not even going to watch it and youtube will look not knowing this and go well even their own subscribers aren't watching the videos so why should we put it out to anyone else so in those scenarios and this is what the group will really help you with to just go actually you're better off having two channels in other scenarios like for me i'm talking about video i'm talking about youtube i'm talking about ecam other equipment i can create playlists but they all sit under the umbrella of adrian salisbury uh, so there are times when one is better there are times when it's worth splitting it out um ricardo says here we go christine signed up awesome um Anton's just having a look at it. Fantastic. Um, selling performance programs to venues, Gary says. Um, not quite sure what you mean. Sorry, I'm not getting that. Um, performance programs to venues. Uh, yes, Carol, I realise you were suggesting that for Christine. Uh, it was a great idea, though. Um, yeah so and uh, nicholas uh, this is it uh, uh, nicholas is an example of this he's watched my videos and he really likes my videos so this is absolute proof of what this this happens i've made videos i've put them out there maybe they were ecam videos or youtube videos or kajabi videos or whatever it be nicholas has seen that and is now saying i like this you know i'm interested so this is absolute proof right here of how this works um tube buddy jimmy yes is brilliant you see i'm just coming back through the comments now um you got the paid version don't know how to use it great well that will be perfect jimmy come in you'll be blown away by what you can do with it um Super. Um, Yoso and Papi, um, giving parents positive discipline tools to become the best version of themselves. I love that. And we've got, uh, I've got a pastor who is creating a course at the minute, very much focusing on um, helping people ra raise boys into, you know, becoming great men. And this came out of a conversation that he had. Somebody was saying to him, um, young men these days aren't what they used to be you know or as a pastor he gets people saying what a challenge it is to raise their kids um uh, not just boys but i've said to him niche down stay initially with boys you know raising men and and it is so powerful and people want this stuff and they will buy a course they will buy training how do you get in front of them and help them do that so i love that topic helping parents out you know uh, and again, so um, yo soy is that how I'm? Uh, your what you're offering here is giving them um, positive discipline tools. They're not going to go searching for um, positive discipline tools. They're going to be going. Ah, I can't control my kid. How can I get them to listen to me? How can I get my child to eat their dinner or whatever it be? Um, yeah, so. Again, what is it that they're going, I need help with this. How do I do this? And uh, you help them with that. And then you say, this is just one technique out of this whole training that I've got. Uh, you know, come and go through the whole thing. Um, sorry, I spotted Brian's one here. This is a big one, Brian. Um Okay, so um, 
where do we jump in? Um, how to raise money in the private markets. Um, I mean, that's a question there, I guess. You could type that in and see what happens, what comes up, play around with that a bit. Um, investment bankers about compliance. Um, so is there a specific area of that that you're saying? Um, so like I'm thinking GDPR, uh, something like, you know, is there something specifically that somebody will be? Because, again, it don't just think that this is just as casually sitting on a Sunday morning, scrolling through YouTube, uh, actually somebody in a corporate position, they'll be sitting in a board meeting and saying, right, we need to get, we need to make sure we're compliant with this. John, you go over there, sort it out, find out what we need to be doing, come back to us. Where are they going to go? Google, you know, how do I make sure we're compliant with this? How do I make sure we're keeping up to date with these regulations? Uh, they're the questions you've got to get in front of people. And then, yes, your training sits behind it. They're going to go back to that board meeting and go, actually, we've found Brian over here. Uh, seems to really know what you're talking about. And actually, he's got a little course. You know, would you be OK if I went and took his training? And yep. So uh, love it. Let me scroll back to the bottom again. How are we doing? Um, Kane's on. Uh, two channels. Yes. Um, Fun FM's on. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, in the real you. Okay, Alicia, um, developing the real you. Um, so again, where are you coming at the start of this? What is somebody asking? They're not. They don't know that they need um, necessarily restoration and elevating and affirming. They're coming saying, um, "Why do I feel so down? Why, you know, how do I deal with this? Um, you know." So again, don't make your videos about the the answer. You need to be trying to copy in the question that someone's going to be asking that that is the answer to. Um, okay, how are we doing? I, I'm I'm conscious we're going over the same stuff. This is what we're going to cover inside the academy. So if this is of interest to you, and I honestly think I went back into my pro video academy where I'm helping guys make video like this. And I just said to them on Thursday, you all need this YouTube Academy. If uh, I don't care whatever business you're in, whatever it is that you do, whether you're an online coach, you're a Pilates instructor or a musician, this is relevant to you. And I can't think of a better platform than YouTube where everyone goes to. It's totally trusted. Get on there, make some videos, get started with it. Don't worry about your presence on camera. We can work on that and get you going. Um, you know, it's, it's there is a market there it's, and it, you don't have to pay for it. All you got to do is make YouTube videos and put them up there. It's not like a Facebook ad that is only there when you're promoting it. Um, yes, self-help, Leisha. That's right. But again, they're not asking for self-help. That's the solution. So um, you need to try and get into your audience's head. Um, uh, oh, Anthony, I'm just about to jump off. Uh, you can catch up and watch this later. Out of interest, let me just flick back up here because the reason I kind of made this hard work and came through StreamYard as well as Ecamm is that I wanted to get a mix on here. And out of interest, the vast majority of you are on YouTube. Um, so that's very interesting. So it is kind of worth it. And uh, that's a whole that's a whole nother thing. That's an Ecamm story. Um, if you're interested in live streaming and doing this, then Ecamm Live Academy is another one. But we're not talking about that one right now. Uh, let's get you started on YouTube. Um, can't recommend it enough. This is not me trying to sell something that I don't think is relevant to you. Uh, trust me, I promise you, uh, if you've got any kind of business you're trying to promote, YouTube is the best platform that you can be on. And you can, by all means, you link from all those other channels to your channel here. Um, you know, do your Instagram post, do all those things, uh, point them back in here. Um, 
What type of videos would I do for selling products? K, what type of products? Uh, Anthony's still got to start his channel. Um, I will just hang on with Kay because she's popped a question in here. Um, while I am, um, Kane, uh, out of interest, Kane has got a great channel, really. It, or a, it, What he does is perfect for it. He's he's an artist. He doodles. Uh, it's the kind, I've said to him, it's fantastic because it's the kind of video you could do, a, a, you know, very short, better, speed it up <laughs> um, video clip of how to do this. And then you can go, uh, you know, put that on Instagram or wherever you want. And then say, if you want to see how I did this, click on here, brings them over to YouTube. They're watching on YouTube, loving it. And then you actually go, hey, this is part of what I teach in this membership group. Come over here. So some some people are like, to me, total no brainers. And you just go, come on, you've got to get on this. Um, so Kane is and he's doing really well at it. Um, do you do one-to-one -one tutorials uh, on Kajabi online courses? Uh, yes, kind of, Anton. Um, I tend to do my YouTube, I tend to do one to one coaching for existing academy members. But if you want to reach out to me, I can help you with that. Um, yes. Uh, Rachel, let me just put that up here again. This is our YouTube academy link. I don't know that you can click it in the comments, can you? Uh, dishes, Kay says. Okay, this is what you're selling pates, bowls, mugs, etc. So obviously, review ones. Um, but so is it a is it a brand that people are going to start hearing about? Is it like some of these? Um, yeah, if it, if it's just your unique one, then you know certainly you need to have those videos up there talking about different plates and bowls. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think how you would come at that. Really, it would be interesting to have a look at. We could have a dig in that. Uh, let's have a look at some of the videos that you're doing if you wanted to come and join us and um, jump in and think how the best way to put those across would be. Um, what's this Kane saying? Um, love it. Um, excellent. That's brilliant. Yes. Um, Anton's in. Great. So, yeah, Kane's there as proof that this works. And um... OK, so uh, Kay's is um, Fiesta, a known brand. Um, so perfect. So people will look at that and they will be searching for it. So um, Rachel, my wife, was a consultant for Sensi. Some of these, well, she still is a consultant doing these um sensey not sexy that sounds <laughs> people will be like what what she's doing what um sensey are like these waxes warmers smells um and so i'm saying i was saying to her you know people want to see unboxing is there a new product coming out is there a new kind of re reveal coming out on this uh are there things that you could be saying maybe you're saying if you like this one there's this one that you could get as well um I'm sure if that's the case with these Fiesta ones, then people are collecting them. There's potentially a group if you haven't already got one that could follow on lovely from this. Um, Anton, you can contact me. Um, Rachel's saying, was Rachel posted in there? The um, Presumably you're already on Kajabi, are you, Anton? Um, Anthony's in. Good stuff, Anthony. Great to have you back. Um, Anton, you're in already by the sounds of it. Then, so um, talk to me. You will, yeah. I'm easy to find on Facebook. You're on YouTube here. Um, reach out to me. There's my contact details on YouTube. But you will have had, you will have had an email from us when you signed up here to this YouTube Academy. By all means, reply to that email, and I'll talk to you about that then. Um, so you're already on Kajabi. Yes. So yeah, talk to me, reply to me in an email and tell me what it is you want help with with Kajabi. We're going a bit off topic, but um, lovely. Right. So thank you so much, guys. I did actually have this little, um, again, I was going to play a little outro for you, 
but um, my music's not working on here. But you can just see that. Uh, come on, someone's got to have a go with that. It's my little QR code that I made. You can just grab your phone and scan that, and it will take you straight over to that registration page. Um, I'm going to leave it there for a minute, although I'm hidden while it's there, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so let me just come back finally. You can just rewind this later if you want to. But um, can I just thank you for being here? We've been on for an hour and uh, really appreciate you staying. Get on YouTube, whether you come in our academy or not. Seriously, have a look at YouTube if you're not there. If you are there and you're making videos and you're not getting views, it's because they're not the right type of videos. Think about what you could be doing reviews on. Think about the questions that your audience are asking into YouTube, asking into Google. They don't know yet that they need you or that you're even there. What are their pains? Serve them first and they will come back to you when they're ready to purchase from you. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, really enjoyed this. Um, wow, Robert's got a challenge on. Um, thank you so much, guys. Uh, really appreciate you being on here. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Christine. Good. Um, Brian, thank you. Uh, is my biggest cheerleader right there. Good old Brian. Thank you, mate. Um, Thank you, Carol. Right, I'm going to disappear. I was going to leave you with a little outro, but it doesn't work. So um, come on, Ecan, we need to get this sorted in-house so I don't have to keep coming over here and trying to mix things up. Uh, thank you, Anton. Really appreciate that. Um, yes, Jason, um, twice in a day. We will see you next week. Uh, all the best. I'm going to leave you now. Please, any comments in the if you're on YouTube or Facebook, leave your comments below still afterwards. Uh, I will get back to you, but uh, thank you so much. Come and join us Monday. In fact, you can get into the Facebook group right now. The training will start on Monday, uh, but come and get started and uh, introduce yourself. Come and meet the new crowd and uh, look forward to working with you. All right. All the best.